Hello friends, today we are going to cover the topic uh, formation of different types of images by a convex mirror, uses of uh, spherical mirrors and how to distinguish between a plane mirror, concave mirror and convex mirror. So let's first start with the formation of different types of images by a convex mirror. So as we all know that image is formed only when two reflected rays actually meet or appear to meet. So for uh, drawing any ray diagram, you should be familiar with the four different kinds of uh, rules uh, used for the formation of uh, images. As we have already, uh, as I have already discussed in my pre previous videos about the rules of convex mirror. So let us first see the first case uh, that is, uh, this, as you can see this is the convex mirror, uh, one side it is polished the, and the inner surface it, is, it has an oblique lines. Now we have an object placed in front of a convex mirror. This object is between pole and infinity. You can see this is the object and when we, uh, according to first rule, when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, it appears to pass through the focus. So this is the reflected ray. When you, when you extend this reflected ray backwards, it appears to pass through the focus. And the second rule, when the ray is in, uh, passes through the center of curvature, here in this case, in case of convex mirror, it is not actually passing. It appears to pass through the center of curvature. After touching the convex mirror, it gets reflected along the same path. So as you can see here, the two dotted lines, they meet at this point. So these dotted lines are nothing but uh, the reflected rays when they are extended backwards, they meet at this point. So when the reflected rays uh, appear to meet, an image is formed. Here if you see the characteristics of the image, position of the image is Position of the object is in front of the convex mirror. Position of the image is behind the convex mirror. So we can write behind the convex mirror. Now if you look at the nature of the image formed here is, uh, the two rays, uh, reflected rays are not actually meeting. They appear to meet. So we can say nature of the image is virtual and erect. Why erect? Because uh, this image is formed above the principal axis. So when the image is formed above the principal axis, we call that image as erect image. Size of the image. Size of the image you can see it is smaller than the object. You can write as diminished. Diminished image. Now coming to the second case, here our object is placed at infinity. Infin infinity means very far off distance. Uh, it cannot be shown in the diagram, but the two incident rays which is coming from the top of the object, let us take one by one. The first incident ray comes from the top of the object, is incident at the pole and makes an angle with the principal axis. The second incident ray, which is parallel to the first one, it falls on the convex mirror and gets reflected here. And when you extend this reflected rays backwards, you can see this reflect. This is also reflected ray and this is reflected ray. When you extend this reflected rays backwards, they meet at a point that is nothing but they meet at the focus. So image formed here is uh, erect image. So if we uh, see the characteristics of the image, position of the image is, in this case also the position is behind the mirror, behind the mirror, nature of the image, nature of the image here is uh, Virtual because the reflected rays are not actually meeting. It is a virtual image and the image is formed above the principal axis, so erect. 
virtual and erect coming to the size size of the images it is much smaller than that of the object object is very big and image size is much smaller than the object so you can write it as highly diminished highly diminished so here you know we are not able to show the object because it is placed very uh, far off distance the two rays coming from the top of the object are parallel to one another and after touching the convex mirror they make an angle with the principal axis when we extend this reflected rays backwards they meet at the focus and this is uh, what this is how the image is formed now coming to the uses of spherical mirror first let us start with the uh, concave mirror what is the use of concave mirror the first one is concave mirrors are used as makeup mirrors and shaving mirrors because it is magnifying part of the face the second one is it is uh, used in torch torch lights the bulb is actually placed at the focus in the con it is placed at the focus and uh, when the ray passes through the focus you know it is parallel to the principal axis so the ray coming from the focus it is parallel to the principal axis so this is the concave reflector of torch the ray uh, passing through the focus parallel to the principal axis so when this is happening here when this is happening we get a parallel beam of light right and the third use is uh, it is used as a dentist mirror dentist mirror is a small concave mirror it is fitted in a frame with a long handle it gives a magnified image of tooth it be it becomes easy for the doctor to examine the defect coming to the next use uh, the concave mirror forms a real inverted and diminished image of face in front side of spoon if you observe if you take a spoon and uh, look in the like in the front side if you see you will get a diminished image of your face so that front side is behaving as a concave surface fifth use is the head mirrors by doctors concave mirrors are used as a head mirrors by doctor to focus light on body parts like ears nose throat which is to be examined by doctor concave mirrors are also used as uh, in tv dish antennas to receive tv signals from distant communication satellites now coming to the convex mirrors convex mirrors are used as rear view mirrors in vehicles like cars trucks buses to see the traffic at the back side you can say rear view mirrors or uh, back view mirrors second use is convex mirrors the big convex mirrors are used as shop security mirrors by installing big convex mirrors at strategic point in the shop the shop owners can keep an eye on the customer uh, to look for the thieves now how to distinguish between a plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror plane mirror produces an image of the same size as that of the object whereas concave mirror produces an image which is magnified or you can say concave mirror produces a magnified image coming to the convex mirror convex mirror produces a diminished image small sized image compared to the object so by this we end our topic i hope you understood thank you